company started in July 1991 with Stephen, the previous managing director, and his business partner providing written schemes of examination. In 2000, Stephen took the business over on his own and then provided statutory exams as well, effectively an MOT for a compressed air or pressure system. We were paper-based up until 2002 and then we've slowly moved to email onto electronic and now we're fully in the cloud. We do a couple of things every month. So we donate to White Food Bank. So we've had an under sevens winter coat for a football team. Stephen and his wife, Kathy, got married last year. They didn't ask for wedding gifts. They asked for donations to the food bank. As a business, we are growing continually. We've got new products in, which have proven quite valuable to us. And as part of that, we want to grow the community work that we do. We're looking at potential projects where we can actually get out in the community as well and do stuff so our staff can get in rather than just giving money. So as manager of the mission, my job is to keep all of the things that the mission does together and to uh, secure it for the future. I think a lot of people think that the mission is about working with people who are perhaps homeless or particularly vulnerable and whilst that's true, it's only a small part of what we do. Our advice service has nearly doubled in the last three years, providing four and a half thousand sessions every year, nearly eight, nine hundred meals every month in our cafe and a wide range of activity groups from art to IT to creative writing. And then the thousands of people every week that come and use our building for community events. So we launched our first ever public appeal, which raised about £24,000. And we're going to be launching our second appeal in a few months time. The appeal was to help run our support services. So everything at the mission except the building. Every year it seems that more people are coming in asking for help and support. And so that's our number one priority to try and meet that demand. by myself and my husband wanting to do good in the community via the football club really and we've raised lots of money done lots of great things in the community we started slowly running breakfast clubs in school and we've grown massively over the last few years I think people are proud of what we do I think we've made a huge impact we've done the breakfast clubs we've done the big sleep out disabled walking groups we've got a huge variety of lots and lots of different things that we're very proud of and very proud that the fans support to do. We've got staff within the foundation that can come into schools and provide not just sports activities but they can do reading activities, they can run into school competitions. It's just to continue to do as much work as we possibly can within the community and, uh, and, and have as much effect as we possibly can.